Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the expansion for Endless Winters, uh, Endless Winter, pardon me, cave paintings. Let's go ahead and see what we get inside this one. And as usual, folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. If you have, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. So looking at the back of the box, they show you exactly what you get, which you can't really ask for more than that. With an expansion, they don't really have the ability to kind of set it up and show it with the rest of the game. I get that. So I'm fine with seeing all the components on the back. That way there is no ambiguity of what the content is. All right. Okay, so the box does have these handy-dandy little opener uh, finger, um, what do you want to call slats? Here is the rule book itself. All right, so we have the very same feel to the uh, actual rule book of the main game. So that's pretty quick, really. Uh, seven pages, no problem there. It's going to be pretty easy to learn, I'm sure. Then we've got the medium thickness cardboard again, and the colorful looking tile there. Looks like a new land type, definitely one of these new uh, um, glyph boards, whatever they're called, monarch, or not monarch, um, monolith boards. And then these are dry erase, so they should erase well, but they look really sharp. I like the icons. It just looks fun. They are double-sided here, so you have um, different things here. These are, I think they're identical as I look at it, and then these... Are different because that's a bear and this is like a looks like a wolf and then here we have yeah so you could play on the same side I think of everything or you could have asymmetric sides so that's cool all right then looking at the rest of what we've got we've got four dry erase markers a couple of bags a couple of new cards here for the hunting and I'm gonna assume they're the same kind of quality etc because all this stuff was produced roughly at the same time and it definitely feels like the original or the base game here so we have five horse Hagerman horse cards and then what do we have in this pack some um, crafting cards over here or culture cards pardon me so some level one culture cards plus a new person which is the painter so I'm assuming you're going to have to use the painter as one of the people if you want to use this expansion. All right, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Whatever you decide to play in the future, hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.